There's a lot in the new year to look forward to here in the desert. News Channel 3's Jeff Stahl takes a look at some of the things you'll see and notice around the Coachella Valley in 2023. Getting around desert hot springs will be safer as $17 million in road safety improvements begins on Palm Drive between I-10 to Camino Aventura. Also Hacienda Avenue from Foxdale to Long Canyon. The more bike lanes, more street lights, more sidewalks, and then to uh, widen the roads in certain areas. In Palm Springs, a new much talked about controversial and much needed homeless navigation center will begin offering 70 units of housing by mid-year. So we should see a difference in terms of uh, making sure that people get help and that there are less folks living on our streets and in our parks. The city says nearly 100 affordable housing units will also open in 2023. In Cathedral City, construction will begin on a new $8.5 million park in the Dream Homes neighborhood next to the CV Link. Big um, improvement in an area of the city that's underserved in terms of parks, and we're excited to see that happen. Construction will also begin for a mixed-use development project across the way from the new Agua Caliente Casino. And the first phase will be commercial development along the East Palm Canyon frontage. Date Palm Drive will be repaved, and the city's signature events will be bigger than ever. In Rancho Mirage, look forward to new events and returning favorites, including the Rancho Mirage Speaker Series with its Legends of Sports series this month. Wayne Gretzky will be our first speaker, followed by Emmett Smith uh, and Sugar Ray Leonard. So we've got a great lineup. The Riders Festival returns, the PGA Tour Galeri Classic comes to the Mission Hills Country Club, and the Disney Cotino development will begin housing sales. In Palm Desert, the focus is on growth and education, housing and public amenities. 79 million state dollars are earmarked for the CSUSB Palm Desert campus. Nearly 4,000 homes are currently in the development pipeline, including more than 800 affordable housing units. Also, a new regional park in North Palm Desert. Indian Wells is working on infrastructure and energy efficiency projects, including solar panels and an all-hours city golf driving range at the IW Club. And work begins for a new resort-style development at Highway 111 and Miles Avenue. New development along there, which could include affordable housing, but also another hotel project, um, a short-term rental community that's um, kind of like rent to stay, and then um, a small little retail development as well. Expect a new Sprouts Farmer's Market and a Tommy Bahama Miramonte Resort and Spa opening in late 2023. In La Quinta, the city will be working in the new year to determine what it will take to move utilities underground and at what cost throughout the city. And what we want to do here is not only look at it, determine the costs, but find out what is a 20 or 30 year plan to make that happen. It's also actively pursuing strategic properties for restoration of existing housing or for affordable housing. Post measure A, the city will continue to prohibit new STVR permits except for homes in exempted areas. In Indio, two large College of the Desert buildings will go up, along with a new public safety campus project, fire station, and a new city hall and downtown public library. There's also $10 million in street paving, a facade improvement program for downtown and Highway 111, and construction of the new John Nobles Memorial Park. The city of Coachella is tackling housing with the completion of three new single-family communities and new affordable housing options. Also, a new park and public services being offered, including Bagduma Park improvements and the library annex rehab on 7th Street. The Coachella Valley Association of Governments says you'll notice its CV sync in 2023, the synchronization of traffic signal lights along major travel arteries. It better mean that tri driving from one end of the valley to the next end of the valley is going to take a lot less time. Highway 111, Washington Street, and Ramon Road corridors should go live in March with 21 other corridors to follow, all monitored and signals synchronized by computers in this new regional traffic center. Jeff Stahl, News Channel 3. Well, believe it or not, there is much more to talk about, but we didn't have time to pack it all into this story. You can get more information and read the official responses to our questions city by city online right now at KESQ.com. A lot of things to look forward to.